Hi there, I'm Louis Levin. I'm an associate director at Camp Nevagaman. We know lots of you watching are still looking for a summer job. So I have a bunch of amazing camp directors here for you to meet. First up is Dan from North Star Camp. Thanks, Louis. Uh, I'm Dan. I am a director at North Star Camp. We are a traditional boys camp in northwestern Wisconsin. We've got a great diverse program as well as a top-notch wilderness trips program. Uh, next up, I'd like to introduce you to Allie from Camp Foley. Hi everyone, my name is Allie Farisi and I'm the director at Camp Foley, which is a co-ed summer rec camp in central Minnesota, kind of near the Brainerd Lakes area. Uh, and like Dan, we offer a diverse program as well with lots of different waterfront activities kind of being the highlight of our program. Uh, next up, I'm going to introduce you to Chris. Hey, what's up team? My name is Chris McMealy uh, from Camp Lincoln and Camp Lake Hubert, also in the Brainerd Lakes area. We are uh, traditional residential, so overnight brother and sister camps up there. Um, next up, I'd like to introduce you to... Hi, I'm Thatch from Camp We Hockey. We're a traditional summer camp for girls aged 7 to 17 in Winter, Wisconsin, up in the northwest corner. We offer over 35 activities and just a really fun summer program. Next, I'd like to introduce you to Sari from Chippewa Ranch Camp. Hi guys, I am Sari from Chippewa Ranch Camp. We are a traditional all girls overnight camp in Eagle River, Wisconsin, which is up near the UP. Um, we also have diverse programming, um, huge waterfront, horseback riding program, um, and lots of fun for the summer. I will now introduce you to Emma. Hi, I'm Emma and I'm the assistant director at Birch Trail. We're an all girls camp in Minong, Wisconsin. And we also have a really diverse uh, group of activities. We have trips at camp and we hire male and female staff. So don't let the all girls throw you off. Now I'm gonna send you over to Adam. Hello, Adam Fournier here from Camp Nebagaman. Uh, camp Nebagaman is a summer camp uh, 30 minutes east of Duluth, Minnesota. We offer 20 in-camp activities along with a wilderness trip program that uh, will get you out and about in the beautiful upper regions of the upper Midwest. Thanks, everyone. I've got a few questions for our directors to answer, so let's start with you, Fournier. What would I get out of working at camp this summer? Uh, excellent question, Lewis. Uh, thank you for that. And uh, what I'd like to mention is that you will well, you will get a lot out of your summer camp experience. Um, we all we all offer many different types of compensation packages, uh, but what we do offer is paid positions at camp, so you will make money. Uh, we also have food and lodging provided for all of you uh, during the entire summer. On top of that, uh, you can uh, you'll, you'll gain a quantifiable uh, leadership experience, stuff that you'll be able to take later on in life. Uh, on top of that, you'll have um, jo great job experiences that will uh, future employers will really enjoy hearing about and hopefully score you some pretty sweet jobs. Lastly, you will get, uh, you'll have just overall positive experiences and you'll have make friendships that will last a lifetime. Thanks for here. My next question is for Chris from Camps Lincoln and Lake Hubert. Chris, what kinds of people work at camps? Thanks, Lewis. That's a great question. Um, each summer, we welcome uh, people from about 40 states and 20 countries to join us. Uh, these people are college students, uh, teachers, coaches, studying, you know, and teaching in all sorts of different areas. Um, the most important thing would be the diversity. Um, the diversity adds to um, the diversity of experience as to the strength of the community at camps, and uh, that's really important for us. Awesome. Thanks, Chris. Uh, here's a question for Dan from North Star Camp. Dan, what kinds of jobs are available? So I think traditionally people think about summer camps and they think about camp counselors. And yes, we are all looking for counselors, uh, male, female, really any gender. Um, at many of our camps, our counselors will also instruct activities. Uh, or some camps will also hire activity specialists where they will focus on just instructing activities. Uh, and some of those different areas will include uh, pretty much every sport that you can think of, uh, arts activities. Uh, all of our camps have waterfronts with different aquatic activities. 
uh, as well as outdoor adventure activities. A couple of specifics that uh, definitely to highlight, camps are looking for rock climbing staff, uh, horseback riding staff, as well as waterfront staff. Uh, many of our camps are also uh, offering uh, wilderness trip leader positions for our trips programs, canoeing and hiking trips. Uh, camps are also hiring nurses and health aides. This would include for uh, graduating nurses or nurses uh, already with their RN, but also for nursing students or other folks uh, that are in college for some health-related degree. Uh, camps are looking for food service staff, whether you're an experienced uh, cook or baker or even someone just uh, looking to take a dishwashing type of position. We're looking for maintenance staff, uh, office administrative help, uh, and then even areas like uh, videographers and photographers. Thanks, Dan. Hey, uh, Allie from Camp Foley, do you offer internships at camp? The short answer is yes. All of our, all of our camps offer some sort of internship. Um, you know, sometimes it's through directly through the university that you're attending. Some camps even offer their own uh, internship programs through the, just directly through the camp. So that's something you should ask your camp director. Uh, and don't be afraid to ask. A lot of times we can finagle your position and do some writing of it to help you fulfill uh, internships that you're required to do for whatever the major um, may be. So make sure that you open that dialogue up with uh, any camp that you're looking at working at. Awesome, sounds great, thanks. Next one's for Sari from Chippewa Ranch Camp. Sari, what will my typical day look like at camp? Good question, Lewis. Um, every camp, the day looks a little bit different, but there are a couple of staples um, that we all um, have within our day. So every day has three meals, breakfast, lunch, and dinner with some snacks in between. And then throughout the day, we offer activities or some camps call them projects where campers are rock climbing, water skiing, horseback riding, playing basketball, um, lots and lots of daytime activities that are taught by the instructors, many of which will be hopefully you. Um, you'll also spend time with your cabin group if you are a cabin counselor. So after breakfast, we have cabin cleanup. After lunch, we have rest hour. Um, and then before bed, there's a bedtime routine for each cabin. After dinner, though, and before bedtime, at each camp, we do evening programs. So those range from campfires to theme nights, activities on the stage, sporting events, and more. While it's a totally jam-packed and exciting day, you will of course have downtime as well. So within each camp structure, there is time for the staff to have um, some free time during the day and you will get at least one day off and one night off um, per week. Seems like a great day to me. Thanks, Sari. Next up, Thatch from Camp We Hockey. Why should I want to work with kids? Thanks, Lewis. So, of course, if you see parenting or working in education in any capacity in your future at all, this is a great chance to get hands-on experience with kids. But if you don't see yourself having kids of your own or working in the um, education uh, sector, um, this is still a great opportunity. Kids can teach you so much, like time management, creative problem solving, and organization. Um, you are in a unique position as a young leader to make a big impact on kids and they'll think you're cool just because you're a college student. Great points. All right, last question is for Emma from Camp Birch Trail. How will you teach me to do the job? Great question. Thanks, Lewis. So each of the camps will have their own set of staff training, but for all of us, it'll be over a week of in-person training. And then depending on which camp you're with, we might do some pre-camp webinars before you even get to camp, maybe even things like optional book clubs or at least recommendations for more information on how to work with kids. And then once you arrive at camp, it's gonna be different depending on the job you have. So if you're a counselor, you're gonna get a lot of hands-on things like how to, how to do team building, how to do some collaboration with others, how to work on conflict resolution. If you're a nurse, for example, you're gonna get a lot of time in the health center. You're gonna get comfortable with how does it work at our camp. So it will be specialized based on your position, but we want everybody feeling like they know camp and that they're a camp staff veteran by the time the campers come. And when campers arrive, you're a whole, you're a big team that everyone has each other's backs and you're all walking away with some 21st century skills like leadership, collaboration, problem solving, critical thinking, and you're gonna be ready for those kids to come. 
Thanks, Emma. And uh, thanks everyone for some awesome answers. That's what I've got for today. You can look down in the comments or description of this video for more details, including a document with information about each camp that we talked to today, as well as the jobs they're hiring for and their contact information. I hope you find the right camp for you this summer, and we want to talk to you soon. All right, bye everyone. Bye. Bye, thank you.